Hi friends, welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. I am Sunil. In chemistry, we have already completed 15 classes. This is class 16. Topic is periodic classification of elements. If you want chemistry class notes as PDF, you can download from InstaMojo link which is in my description box. Click on that link and download the PDF. Here we know that there are several elements are available in our earth. How they are classified? They are classified on the basis of similarities in their properties. They are classified on the basis of on the basis of similarities in their properties. That means they are classified based on their properties. Okay. So that's why here all the scientists are try to group the elements which have similar properties similar properties and the arrangement of elements in such a way that grouping all the elements which have similar properties is called periodic classification or periodic arrangement okay and scientists made several attempts to classify these elements according to their properties. The first scientist is Lavoisier. Lavoisier. He is classified, he was classified the elements into metals and non-metals. Metals and non-metals. After this Lavoisier, the second one, Dabernier. Dabernier. And his theory is also called as Dabernier traits. He identified that some groups having three elements, some groups having three elements each, and he called them as traits. As traits. That means each trait has three elements in each. And he, he showed that when these three elements in a trade are written in the order of increasing atomic masses. Increasing atomic masses. Once again, it showed that when three elements in a trade were written in the order of increasing atomic masses, then the atomic mass of middle element, then the atomic mass of middle element was roughly average of atomic masses of remaining two. Remaining two. That means if you take one, two, three, the middle element, that is the mass of the middle element is equal to averages of first and third. That is one plus three by two. That is four by two. That equal to two. In this way, he identified that in any trade, the middle element was roughly average of remaining two. If you take the example of this uh, Dabernier trace, for example, if you take lithium, lithium, the mass of this lithium is nearly seven. Seven. In case of sodium, sodium mass is twenty-three. Case of potassium, potassium mass is thirty-nine. He grouped these are one trade. In this, the middle element. I have written all these are in, case, in the increasing atomic masses. Here the middle element, that is sodium. That is here 23 is equal to average of first and third. That is 7 plus 39 by 2. That is 46 by 2. That equal to 23. So, here it is equal. So, According to this is uh, Dabernier traits, the middle element or the mass of the middle element is roughly average of the remaining two elements. Okay. After this Dabernier traits, the next scientist proposed his theory and it is called as Newland's law of octaves. Law of Actives. Okay. 
and according to this new land when elements are arranged in increasing atomic masses like dabanet when the elements are arranged in their increasing atomic masses then every eighth element then every eighth element has similar properties as similar properties to the first similar properties to the first just like uh, musical notes just like musical notes that means if you take the example it is we know that the musical notes are sa re ga ma pa da ni sa like that sa so, re ga ma pa da ni again sa in this you arrange the elements in their increasing atomic masses hydrogen according to his there is no helium and hydrogen lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen and then and then sodium magnesium aluminum silicon phosphorus sulfur like that that means if you take the example here the lithium if you take the lithium this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that means it is the eighth element in case of lithium sodium is the eighth element of lithium that means so he grouped this lithium and sodium into one group okay and it was found that this proposal is applicable up to calcium only up to calcium only that is atomic uh, mass is 40 after that it fails so that's why it is forgotten okay and he assumed that only 56 elements are present only 56 elements are present but after that several new elements are discovered and the next important proposal mendeleev mendeleev's proposal or mendeleev's periodic table mendeleev's periodic table okay at this time there are only 63 elements are present elements are present okay the main credit of classifying the elements goes to this mendeleev why because he was the most important contributor to the early development of periodic table of elements so that's why he is also called as father of periodic table father of periodic table okay and he also arranged the elements arranged all the elements on the basis of their fundamental property on the basis of their fundamental property and increasing order increasing order of atomic masses okay in his periodic table the horizontal line horizontal line called periods called periods vertical line vertical lines called groups and he divided that the total periods are seven and groups are nine okay groups are nine here groups means according to him one first group second group third group and so on to eighth group and the next one is zeroth group okay in this way he divided and limitations of this periodic table limitations the first limitation is at the time of uh, mendeleev's only 63 elements are present but now it is increased and he could not assign the very very important bit the main limitation of this mendeleev periodic table is he could not assign the correct position to hydrogen he could not assign correct position to the hydrogen and at the time of this mendeleev isotopes were not discovered isotopes were not discovered 
were not discovered. So it is a big challenge to this Mendeleev's periodic table. These are the main limitations of periodic Mendeleev's periodic table. And after this, modern periodic table. Modern periodic table. In case of 1913, the scientist Henry Mosley, Henry Mosley showed that atomic number of element is more fundamental than mass. That means that before all the scientists are grouped in the elements according to their atomic masses, atomic masses. But this Henry showed that the fundamental property is atomic number, atomic number, not atomic mass. So that's why the modern periodic table shows that properties of elements are a periodic function of their atomic numbers. So in modern periodic table, all elements are arranged according to their atomic number and in increasing order okay this is the modern periodic table according to this modern periodic table there are seven periods that means seven horizontal line first one second one third fourth fifth sixth seven seven horizontal lines so we may call this seven horizontal line has seven periods and 18 vertical groups 18 vertical groups so these vertical group vertical lines are called as groups so the modern periodic table has seven periods and 18 vertical 18 groups okay in this periodic table 14 elements of both sixth and seventh period both sixth and seventh period are placed in separate panel at the bottom here this 58 to 71 are called lanthanides and this 90 to 103 are called actinoids okay in this periodic table the very very important points are in case of periods in case of periods the atomic size electropositive nature metallic nature and base nature of oxides all are decreases from left to right all are decreases from left to right please better to note down the first one atomic size electropositive nature metallic nature basic nature of oxides all are decreases from left to right and electronegative nature non-metallic nature acidic nature and ionization potential all are increases from left to right okay first of all what are the decreases atomic size will be decreases from left to right electropositive nature decreases from left to right metallic nature will be decreases and basic nature of oxides all are decreases from left to right then the opposite ones that is electronegative nature non-metallic nature acidic nature and ionization potential all are increases from left to right and also electron affinity also increases from left to right here what is this atomic size this is nothing but radius of atom radius of atom that means if the in this uh, period from left to right from left to right this atomic size will be decreases okay and the next one what is this ionization energy it is nothing but it is the energy required to remove an electron from outermost cell once again the ionization energy it is the energy required to remove an electron from 
outer most cell is called ionization energy and what is this electron affinity it is nothing but energy the energy released when an extra electron is added to the atom when an extra electron is added to the atom then energy will be released that is called electron affinity okay and next one coming to the characteristics of groups coming to the characteristics of groups here in this periodic table atomic size electro positive nature metallic nature basic nature all are increases from top to bottom all are increases from top to bottom okay and the opposite quantities that is electro negative nature ionization potential electron affinity and non metallic nature and acidic nature all are decreases from top to bottom all are decreases from top to bottom what are the increases atomic size and electro positive nature metallic nature basic nature all are increases from top to bottom all are increases from top to bottom and the opposite quantities electro negative nature ionization potential electron affinity and non metallic nature all are decreases from top to bottom these are the characteristics of groups and also periods okay